What's up everybody? Now we are in the new video. We are on our path to <laughs> literally on our path to um, solve a path generation problem for given a maze structure or labyrinth structure, right? And first you need to um, express your maze right express your maze here for example you can just you know write or draw on a piece of paper where you um, say let's look at this i say s for start and end to a like goal right this is the point where we like to reach where we like to generate the path to right and here these are the words however this is this problem in some aspect uh, kind of different from the previous one like the uh, going from some city to some city right here i'm you you can for example you can consider uh, the problem of hey go from um, new york to los angeles however uh, don't go from some cities where i you know just uh, high rated okay right go from a city to b to b right however don't use that path some paths right or don't go through some cities okay this is like the general the kind of connection between the previous problem that is like a little bit more kind of you can consider maybe more sophisticated i i'm i'm not 100 percent sure on that right and all right okay you just catch this picture right your maze right and then and then you would just you need to generate this matrix right since there are one two three right since there are 16 blocks right in that picture in that picture you are like uh, you should i mean you can write you can use other type of i'm just going to explain my um, i don't want to say algorithm but uh, my way of thinking right how i try to solve that problem right i'm just not the uh, um, this is not the way where every computer science this would agree with that right and some might say no one would agree with me on that right they would say hey you should do this you should ha do hash map or something you, you should you shouldn't use maybe object or something right for that that they would probably do that they, they would say hey you should use dynamic programming and all that you know kind of you know gibberish right <laughs> okay so you should uh, name each look as one two three right all right this is first one and this is your second step here you just not id or id matrix maybe right and here again let us remind ourselves that the first id not with the first id right I mean, not with the second ID would be S2, by the way. Just listen. I mean, I'm going to uh, talk about and show you how the program works. It is not like... Uh, I mean, it, it is generous. It is quite generous. Right? For example, it doesn't need to be a square 4 by 4. It can be 8 by 10, for example, right? And S can be in this location. And E can be in that location. That kind of... That kind of... That kinda right uh, you, you you can use you just write a sketch that or think about your problem and generate that id matrix right in in the next step then in the next step since you know s kind of you know looks like number five and this is like starting uh, this note is we shouldn't say hey this is wolf and this is space right we should also differentiate s 
and E from other space nodes. So that's why I, you know, indicated that the type of that node, the starting node, is five, like S, because it looks like X. I mean, of course, you can use the right. You, you you see what I'm saying? And since E is like you know, <laughs> a mirrored three, I said it is type is three, right? Okay, and here these are spaces, right? These are spaces, and that's why I indicated their type as zero, right? There is nothingness there. Also, since there is nothing, since there is no wall, we can, you know, walk through that path, right? Okay. And one indicates walls, right? Right, okay. Just type matrix. ID matrix here. ID matrix, not ID, I see that, not ID. You know ids of nodes right uh, id matrix and type matrix all right okay then one two three four five this is like the you know stages that you would go through and for every node here where i'm looking at the screen if you are able to see that okay for every node structure right for every node you say hey name right or id maybe maybe id right uh, you can call ID maybe not that ID or not that name because of is there are like mm, many nodes right it would make sense to uh, name them as numbers right otherwise I mean <laughs> there are like two and six not you know letters in the alphabet so what if we would need to name like hundreds of nodes right so in that uh, the, 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 that's why it would make sense to use numbers. Okay, that again zero. Parent it will have parent field null search false location yeah row column. When we say location, I don't mean GPS location. And you know what? You can use that type of uh, thing to literally generate the path from city A to for example, city B, right? Maybe you have, you do have some GPS location of that city, right? Maybe I mean you can just don't think about, don't think of this problem is a very inter, um, interesting but uh, silly little problem. You can generalize that, you can implement that DFS or I mean you can implement state space search algorithms in a little much more important problems, right? Okay. Location and type again here five three one zero five four start three four and one wall space zero right okay you just need to uh, you just need to like in the previous example we were talking about you just need to uh, name them or indicate their ID ID and you can also type right and after that you can you can just keep those one two three four fields same and after that in in a for loop in a for loop you can up in a for loop you can for example update this location field and okay let's check this for example field here the location is that node is one comma one row one column one right okay so what i'm trying to say is this if i have the id or if i have the name if i have the id right i'm going to id name you know interchangeably right and that will be annoying i'm sure about that and if i have the id if i have the id i can go and generate location when I say location, I mean row and column index, right? And if I have the location, I can generate ID, right? So I will also uh, to you know um, to make it convenient that operation. I will or not. I will. I have written ID to row call and row call to ID. ID. There will be like two functions, right? Okay. 
and okay and if i have the name i can just determine what the location is all right i'm just bu building up we we're just building up so bear with me if like right okay now i directly uh, consider how you would this is not an example to show you how to how you would uh, code that how you would implement that but how if you implement that how you, um, how dfs would solve that problem which stages it would go through right and dfs after that bfs as well right and so this is just the you know preview to what we are going to talk about in in the next video right in the next video uh, after that first we are going to look at the stages and in the next video we will talk about the implementation implementation in the right in matup okay all right so here let's keep that in mind right okay so we are in starting of s right and close is open i mean i'm sorry close is empty and chosen one and the first entry is one all right generate children here two and five right okay two and five and filter out the walls and the ones that we have searched before right filter out those nodes and there, and if you look at the this matrix and this matrix and two and five right they, they are they are not walls and we haven't searched them before that so we don't need to filter out them we can keep them and delete delete n from open right and add new to open add new to open this this, this is the new by the way this is the new yes and where is the closed and here is closed right maybe it will come to of them and just this one and this one just basically concatenate them right okay right by the way just basically concatenate them but if you don't uh, i mean if the old order matters in constructing open because if you don't I said I was making a mistake. This is close. This one and this one. Sorry. Uh, this one and this one, right? All the matters. For example, three and five, right? However, if you written like five and three, this one and then this one, this one and then this one, right? For example, this one and then this one, because this is DFS, right? You know that all of them this is the only the difference between those two algorithms okay is what i'm trying to say and all right this is new new right here we are going to you you know some right okay and after that now we have this just put that here right in a really uh, annoyingly detailed fashion i'm just trying to uh, explain the stages right okay so here what is the first entry two i hope you are able to see that okay and here this is the chosen one two right and generate children three six one let's look at this here the children of two right or maybe that's children of two right we can only go left, right, up, and up and down, right? Okay, so not, but we are not able to move diagonally, right? One, six, and three, right? Okay, one, six, and three, right? And okay, filter out the new ones. I mean, filter out the wall 
nodes and the nodes that we have searched before and x is void here you know we, we recall that x is a void node right and we have search one previously i mean one is the starting node of course we search that right and only keep three only keep three right we are now here and this is dfs it will try to increase the depth right okay and after that and since okay delete n from open five right and then dump those two sets together okay now you have this and this and this are the same right just insert that here right what is the first entry three right three and what are the children of three right so let's again delete that right what are the children of three two seven four right okay two seven four however seven is wall and two we have searched before so only four right we only keep four and just delete the chosen from delete n from new i'm sorry delete n from open and we have five delete that and we have five right so sum them and you have this and this and this are the same right okay now what is the let me maybe it's right at the port industrial revolution no not for industrial revolution fourth step right right and what is the first entry four all right and what are the children of four here let's look at this children of four three and eight and three we have searched before so eight is the only children only legitimate children and eight and five we again you know sum them and unionize them right so we have that and put that here and what is the first entry eight eight is the chosen node right what are the uh, children of eight here here look at the four seven four seven twelve and let's you know remind ourselves that seven is the wall so and four we searched before so only twelve right and we sum them and we get that right okay here what is the first entry 12 what are the children of 12 here look at the picture 8 maybe i should okay here 8 11 and 16 okay I should have written eight by the way. Eight, eleven, six. Anyway, eight. And then, since we search eight before, right? Delete eight and sixteen, eleven. Okay, okay. And sum them and generate the updated open and closed sets. And what is the new or the what is the first entry in open set? Mm. 16 and 16 is the don't you know <laughs> goal state goal node so problem solved right okay in every by the way in every here step you need to update what well, you need to update the relevant nodes right their parents their right okay and let's try to let's try to i hope i can get that done i'm going to try to copy i hope i can do that come on paste image oh this oh that's perfect I'm very happy with that. Okay. And you know what what I should do? I should also paste image to that location. 
all right it is perfect perfect okay so right actually let me zoom a little bit all right okay now we are here one right one and close here this is like default right and what is and one and show the one two and five all right here throughout the you know in nodes and walls there is none and just keep all of them right and read n from open here just empty set now and add new to open just sum them sum them i should all right like this sum them right just sum them and obtain this right and write that two um, entries in that location right and what is the first two right you are right it is a little complicated or i am not able to see but i am able to see that hopefully you can use with i mean you can see with the 1080 resolution hopefully right and it is annoying the resolution of my tablet is good however for some reason when i um, project that on my computer monitor screen right it kind of loses its resolution i don't know why that's the case uh, anyway I, we are building up right hopefully in the future we will have better equipment and something anyway uh, what are the children of two right mm, here left right and down right one six three right okay and filter out and six is a wall one we searched before so only three right and five sum them and we have this right and what is the first one five the chosen one five what are the mm, let's look at this let's look at this we are doing bfs by the way right what are the children of one six and nine right okay and six is a wolf and one is one search before so nine you only keep nine right and sum them and obtain updated open and closed and here right here and the first entry three thousand one three what are the children of them two seven four right and two seven four Two we search before seven no wolf and four right we only keep four and sum them and obtain updated right open and close sets here the first entry nine what are the children of nine here we, we are just doing this right we are doing this yeah going like this right however for for the dfs case we are just go like that right okay and here what are the children of nine five ten thirteen five ten thirteen and only thirteen is valid right we don't need to filter out and sum them and update and obtain the updated open and close sets right and what is the chosen one the first entry in open set right or here one two we are now in the depth three stage right and what is the children three and eight right and three we search before eight we only keep eight and update open obtain updated open and close right what is the first entry 13 and 13 here we are here like this right 13 children of 13 9 and 14 9 14 right and 9 we search before only keep 14 sum them and okay here first entry 8 and children of 8 is 4 7 12 right <clears throat> and only 12 is void right sum them again here this is the right first entry 14 here we are here 13 10 15 right 
there, there, there is a little mistake. I should have written 13 as well. Although we searched before that, but, but after that, you know. But before filtering out, we should include that as well, right? And and is a wolf. 13 we searched before. And 15 we only keep 15, right? And obtain the, right? Obtain the updated open and close sets, right? And copy and paste that here. What is the first entry? 12. And what are the, you know, children of 12? Here, 8, 11, 16. 8, 16, 11. And 8, we searched before. Keep 16 and 11. Sum them and obtain the updated open and close and copy and paste it. What is the first in open? 15. What are the um, neighbors? Here we can see 14, 11, 16, right? I don't know why I made that. I may, I mean, I made that mistake anyway. And 14 we searched before. Either one we searched before. Here we can see, right? Mm, we opened before, I should say. And 16 we all opened, uh, opened that before. So there is none. We filtered all, all, all of them, right? So Right here, updated, updated. <laughs> I cannot even talk anymore. I mean, it's very consuming. And updated, open and closed. All right, and copy and paste. What is the first entry? 16. And don't you know this is like the salt? This is like the not where you like to, you know, reach to. And okay, in the next video, I will. It will be more entertaining. Right, I will try to make that more <laughs> watchable and look at the someone who will watch this anyway. And in the next video, we will talk about uh, how you would call how you would code that in MATLAB, right? And again, we will talk on the paper on the paper. I will explain the idea and I will try to keep that short, hopefully, right? And in the after in the in the video after after that the next one and we will look at the matrap scripts together and we analyze the working principles and we look at some simulations we will generate some random mazes like five by three ten by eight or something or twelve by twelve or something right and okay and thanks for watching